I, I just have a strong feeling that Orlando is going to take Anthony Black, like right before us, essentially. Yeah. Um, it, he fits that mold. Like they've talked about, even Paolo talked about, like, or Paolo talked about wanting to just like fill the team up with like big, versatile athletes that are switchable mm -hmm. one through five and, and just having length at every position. Yeah. And like you've got Marco Fultz and he's getting better. But if Black can do the exact same things at several inches taller, Okay, that's great. And and right. And if Jalen gonna... Suggs and Jalen Suggs may just not be a good NBA player, yeah. or at least yeah. not for a while. So if you have to move on from him, you move on from him. Sure. But you have if if Anthony Black is what he could be at his size, plus Franz, plus Paulo, that's pretty dynamic and not an easy team to guard. And a very switchable team defensively, which Bingo. makes it dangerous. I, I promise that they're not sitting there right now going, Well, we've got Markel Fultz, we've got Cole Anthony, we've got Jalen Suggs. I don't know. We could take another guard if we think their best player available and, and, and he fits their mold about as well as any prospect. So I just think that's going to be the pick unless they get so enamored by the other Thompson twin that they do that. But to me, like that's, I think that's probably the more sensible Orlando we pick it, is to yeah. go, to go black. And then if you're the wizards, it's a sword Thompson and, Sounds like Kobe Bufkin is their next best guy, and they the reporting there from from Jonathan Gavoni and Woj is, hey, if um, you know if if uh, if Black is gone, Kobe Bufkin is the guy. So so based on that line of thinking, like, again, he, the two texts that I got that said here and Kobe Bufkin, gun to my head, if I had to predict who ends up a wizard tomorrow night at the eighth pick, I would say Bufkin at this 